Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well today. Let us start with our English class. We reach on the page 105. Page 105. For today's class, we will be doing some grammar. The past perfect tense. Okay. The past perfect tense in the negative form. Let us read the questions before. Then we are going to see some examples. Mrs. Anita, the receptionist, tells us about a theft at the art gallery. Read the short text below and fill in the blanks with the negative form of the past perfect tense of the verbs in brackets. The first one has been done for you. We will start reading together. In 2014, I was working at the art gallery. One day I noticed that thieves had broken into the building and taken all the money in the cash box. I found out that the sculpture of Rodin was still on the table. The thieves had not touched it, so had not touched it has been underlined. The window panes were intact. The thieves, them, the verb not to break. The painting of Picasso still hung on the wall. The thieves eat away. The gallery was in order anything in a mess. Nobody was wounded. They anybody. The safe was still hidden behind Gauguin's painting. They it. All the paintings were still there. They any. The watchman was tied to a chair. The thieves him. No policeman was on the scene near the employees yet them. Okay, so in this question, you have to fill in the blanks with the negative form of the post perfect tense. Let us do a small revision now. Okay, we are going to do a small revision on the present and the post perfect tense to see if you still remember these uh, verb tenses. As you can see, for the present perfect, you will be using have or has plus the verb in past participle. Has or have plus the verb in past participle. For the past perfect, you will be using only had. For I, you, he, she, it, they, we, you will be using had only. Plus the verb in past participle. Let us move on. The past perfect tense. It expresses the idea that something occurred before another action in the past. It can also show that something happened before a specific time in the past. So you have the past tense and then before the past tense you have the past perfect tense. You are going to see some examples. You are going to copy all these in your copybook. The affirmative sentences. Affirmative and negative. So first, let us see some examples. What is affirmative sentences? For I, you, he, she, it, you're going to use had. We, you, they, had as well. Plus, some verbs in the post participle given here are done, played, written, fixed.
let us see these examples okay i had done all my home assignment before i visited my friend marco home assignment mean homework the work you had to do at home home assignment I had done all my home assignment before I visited my friend Marco. So after having done his work, he visited his friend. When Sarah arrived at the party, Peter had already left. So what happened first? Sarah arrived there first or Peter left first? So you already know Peter left. First, then Sarah arrived to the party. If he had come, we would have spent time together. So here they are using the clause if. If he had come, we would have spent time together. Here would have spent, meaning uh, what they would have done uh, in the future, but they did not do this. We would have spent time together if he had come. Examples are The woman was a was a complete stranger to Let me. us see some examples I of sentences. Her before. You had studied English before you moved to New York. I had not seen her before what here kind of in broadcast you listened to sentence. So had you had studied English not, before you moved to New York? Not, what do you right, understand this question? In your so before you moved, you write, before moving to New not, York, you so studied you English. To talk, so this is uh, when you're uh, what you did talk, before. Uh, you you studied in English, had then, then you moved to New York. When you're going to write your sentences, you will say, you will had you studied had English not. before you moved to New York? The man was hit by this a is car an because of the because the driver the had not seen him. Tense. Yeah, you as well had not. You had the not apartment was really dirty. They had to not New cleaned it for many the days. days. So they had so not, you had not studied the English before you moved to New York. Let us. I really hope see some it's more clear for you. I've been able to understand. Now for the negative sentences. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, had. For the past perfect plus you're going to add not. Then your past participle. The verbs are done, played, written, fixed. We are going to see some examples. So you're going to copy to note down all the important notes in your copybook for the past perfect uh, tenses. Okay, so here you will find examples of negative sentences. You're going to read this. I had not played, you had not played, he had not played, she had not played. 
it had not played we had not played you had not played they had not played so here the verb play is a regular verb now uh, let us take a look at the irregular verbs you already know I had not gone so gone here is the verb to go you are going to read I had not gone you had not gone he had not gone she had not gone it had not gone we had not gone they had not gone and you had not gone Okay, so that's all for today, but before we end our class, let's see how your homework we just read on the page 105. So this is what you have to do. You are going to fill in the blanks with the post perfect tense in the negative form. I hope it's clear for you have been able to understand all we just did do not forget as well to note down the important notes in your copybook okay i will be checking when sc when school resumes i will check your home uh, your copybook as well as your homework in your book okay so take care all of you see you later